Al-Hashr, exile. In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful. All that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth glorifies Allah. And He is the mighty, the wise. He it is that draw the disbelievers among the people of the book out of their dwellings into the first exile. You did not think that they would go and they for their part fancied that their strongholds would protect them from Allah. But Allah overtook them whence they did not expect casting such terror into their hearts that their dwellings were destroyed by their own hands as well as by those of the faithful. So, learn a lesson, O you who have eyes. Had Allah not decreed evacuation for them, He would surely have punished them in this world, and theirs in the hereafter is the punishment of the fire. That is because they were opposed to Allah and His Messenger, and he that is opposed to Allah should know that Allah is stern in retribution. Whatever palm tree you cut down or leave standing upon its roots, it is by Allah's leave so that He might humiliate the evildoers and that which Allah gave as spoil to His Messenger from them. He did not make for this an expedition with either cavalry or camaraderie. But Allah gives his messenger lordship over whomsoever Allah pleases, and Allah is able to do all things. That which Allah gives a spoil to his messenger from the people of the townships, it is for Allah and his messenger, and for the near of kin and the orphans, and the needy, and the wayfarer, so that they will not become the property of the rich among you. Whatever the messenger gives you, accept it, and whatever he forbids you, abstain from it. Have fear of Allah, he is stern in retribution. And for the poor fugitives who have been driven out from their homes and their belongings, who seek bounty from Allah and help Allah and his messenger, they are the true believers. Those before them, who had homes in the city of Medina and embraced the faith before them, love those who have sought refuge with them. They entertain no desire in their hearts for what they are given, but rather prefer them above themselves, though poverty become their lot. And whoever is saved from his own ever rise will surely prosper. And those who come into the faith after them say, Our Lord, our Lord, forgive us, and our brethren who were before us in the faith, and do not place in our hearts and rancor towards those who believe. Our Lord, you are compassionate and merciful. Have you not seen the hypocrites? They say to their fellow disbelievers among the people of the book, if you are driven out, we surely shall go out with you, and we shall never obey anyone against you. And if you are attacked, we verily shall help you. And Allah bears witness that they are lying. If they are driven out, they will not go out with them, nor if they are attacked, will they help them. Indeed, if they go to their help, they will turn their backs in flight, and then they will not be helped. Their dread of you is more intense in their hearts than their fear of Allah. So devout are they of understanding. They will never fight against you in a body, saving fortified cities from behind high walls. Their hostility among themselves is very great. You think of them as one, Yet their hearts are divided. That is because they are a folk who have no sense. On the likeness of those who suffered a short time before them, they taste the ill effects of their own conduct, and a grievous scourge awaits them. And the hypocrites are like the devil 
when he orders men to disbelieve, then when the disbeliever says, I hear and now disown you, I fear Allah, the Lord of the worlds. And the consequence for both will be that they are in the fire to remain there forever. Such is the reward of evildoers. O believers, observe your duty to Allah and let every soul look to that which it sends forward for the morrow and observe your duty to Allah for he is cognizant of all your actions. And be not as those who forgot Allah so that he caused them to forget themselves. Such men are evildoers. The people of the fire and the dwellers of paradise are not equal. The dwellers of paradise are the victorious. If we had caused this Quran to descend upon a mountain, you, O Muhammad, would have seen it humbled, rent asunder by the fear of Allah. Such are the parables we set forth to mankind so that they may reflect. He is Allah besides whom there is no other God, knower of the visible and the unseen. He is the compassionate, the merciful. He is Allah besides whom there is no other God. He is the sovereign Lord, the Holy One, the source of security, the keeper of faith, the guardian, the mighty one, the all-powerful, the proud. Exalted be he above the partners they ascribe to him. He is Allah, the creator, the originator, the modeler. His are the most beautiful names. All that is in the heavens and the earth glorifies him. He is the mighty, the wise.